Hi, I'm Paul Teal from codeshare.co.uk and today I'm doing a video about how to use an Umbraco data type to populate an MVC drop down list. So I created a blog post about it. Some people like to work from blog posts, I give them the code on there, but other people work better with a video example as well. So what I thought I'd do is do a video to accompany this blog post. So to give you a bit of an introduction to this post, the idea is you've got a contact form or any sort of form where you want to have a drop down list and you want to be able to dynamically edit the contents of that drop down list and a good place to put the contents of that is in a data type inside Umbrico so you can uh, add or remove or reorder the items that show up in that list and it gives you the power to do that from the Umbrico back end, the back office. Also it gives your users or your clients power to do that as well without having to edit the code or the configuration file. So let's get started then. First of all, we need to create an Umbraco data type. In the developer tab of Umbraco, yeah, click on the dots next to data types. So we lo I've logged into Umbraco and I've go into developer tab and you see the data types. I just want to click on the dots and create a new data type. And I'm going to, this is going to be for my contact form. I'm going to have a drop down of inquiry type. So let's do this in here, inquiry type, property editor, I'm going to choose drop down list. So I'm going to say inquiry type. So I'll just add some answers onto here. So the first inquiry is a booking. Uh, the other inquiry, let's say, is information and call request. So we've got three items onto our list. Click on save. Now what we want to do is use those in a drop down on our form. So let's go back to the blog post. We need to add a help class to the project. So if I just grab this code, copy that, and then into my, um, so I've got my project already. This is install Umbraco. A while back I did a contact form uh, tutorial. So you'll be able to find it with my other videos, but this is the project that I'm using. So I'm gonna go into helpers and create another helper class. So add class, and this one's going to be called pre-value helper, because these are Umbraco pre-values. Pre-value helper dot cs, enter that. And then what I want to do is just paste in the code that I've copied, just lower down. I want to not use this um, namespace that's already in there for codeshare.library.helpers. I want it to be relevant to my project, but I want to make sure that I am using the um, using statements that are in there. So I'm going to paste the using statements over, and now I'm just going to delete up to there. So I've got the right, um, everything's correct in there now as per the code that I copied, just the only difference is the namespace. So this is a helper class. Also, as an extra for that helper class, we can add some extra uh, settings in there to get the value from app setting name and things like that. So the idea is maybe you've got um, a drop down list and when you've created that drop down list, it gives you an ID here. So in the code, you could put that ID, but it's not a good idea to hard code that ID into your code. So it's better practice to put it as an app setting or something like that in your web configuration. So I'm going to do that as well now. So I'm just going to add key equals. So the name of this is going to be inquiry type drop down. And the value is going to be the number that I was given when I created it. So what I'm also going to do is 
copy this helper class again, the contents of it, up to just after the first method, because these are extras. So this is actually a repetition of the first method. And I've got an app setting error message uh, constant above that as well. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that in to the helper class. So everything inside the class name and save that. So now I've got all the methods that I will need to use this. Next thing I want to do is add a property in my model to use that type of list of select list item. So I've got a model for my contact form. So if we go into here, contact model. So at the moment, I've got a using namespace for data annotations. So I need to also include MVC and uh, collections generic. And that will allow me to have this um, list of select list items. So in this example, it's using titles. But what I'm going to do is use inquiry type. So I'm going to change the name title to be inquiry type. And I'm going to give my property the name inquiry type as well. And then I'm just going to name this inquiry types. So this property is of type list of select list item. This is really useful for uh, drop down lists and things like that. Um, so yeah, I always use that one when I can. So save this and then next thing, I'm going to make it required as well in the form. Although it probably won't be a problem, uh, but it's just in case it's left as please select. Uh, so, and I'm just going to put an error message in. This isn't part of what I'm teaching you or showing you, but just while I'm at it. So please choose an inquiry type. So that's my model uh, sorted out. Next thing you know, I need, next thing I need to do is use the helper in the controller to load the values from the data type. So where I've got, um, so I need to use the pre-value helper. So on my contact controller, up here, just going to define, define that helper. And using it this way allows me to, if I want to, uh, use dependency injection. I can just pass it in as a property in the constructor. At the moment, my controllers don't have constructors, but if I was to do some dependency injection, then that would allow the variables to be passed in and then saved as a private uh, property. So this is moaning now because I don't have the pre-value helper referenced. So if I just go to using... Um, install Umbraco is my namespace dot helpers and then that takes away the complaint there next thing I need to do is go to the part where it gets the model a set model data right so I just need this line here so where I'm setting the model up so I've got my render form all right, that doesn't have a model at that point. Contact. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say contact model model equals new contact model. And then model dot, uh, if I paste that in and I change this to be inquiry types, inquiry types equals get this from the app setting name. So because I've got that, if I just F12 in through to this, this bit of code allows me to get the value that I wanted from the app setting name. Um, so if I go back to my config, the app setting name was inquiry type drop down. So I can just put that in there. So now that's going to get the value for me. And then uh, in here, I'm just going to make sure that the model is being passed in. And then also on the submit form, um, I don't 
don't think I'll need it on that unless there's an error but I'm using Ajax let's have a look so that's the first part anyway so that will get me those values in the inquiry types so let's see what the complaint is now got an error type or namespace or end of file expected so for some reason in my pre-value helper I've got an extra um, bracket there I don't know why I had that I'm just going to rebuild and uh, test this out next thing I need to do is just render the drop down list so I can just take these this here just copy that as I've already got a form I can just go to my partial view for the form and I can just add this in above the others just use the layout that they're using so I'm going to copy that one I'm going to paste this over this and the title one over that and then I just need to change that to be inquiry types so this one here is the single so this is the value for inquiry type and this one here is the value for the for the you know the source of the inquiry types the whole point to this uh, video and then again inquiry type so that's the property that we're setting and so this is the property we're setting this is the property where the list of options comes from save all that do a build so that's all well and good what we're going to do with it well let's first see if it works so we need to go back to this and go on to contact that was just a little alert box there because I was using my GA event tracking um, that is a package that I built with Luke Warren if you have a look for that you'll see that there's one out there anyway for just have a look on my site if you're interested in that so this has populated the drop down so that's the main point of this video we've got it sorted so let's just see that it is uh, dynamic let's change the order of these and hit save so now booking should be at the bottom give that a refresh on the on the front end when it catches up yeah bookings at the bottom as well let's add another item on there other and save refresh that any minute now and we've got other as well so that's how you do it it's explained it in video form sometimes it's not easy to understand I, I get that from just a blog post and sometimes I assume you know your way around Umbrico when maybe you don't so now I've shown you how to do that you can do that so let's just use that in this uh, submit so if we go to where it says send email what I'm going to do is just I'm going to use just simply uh, cheat like that so instead of it just be inquiry it's going to be what the type is first then inquiry and then if I do model dot inquiry type So let's see, um, I'm just going to turn on my um, email client helper thing. What's it called? Um, so I'm just going to turn on paper cut so I can see the email coming through. Okay, so now let's try this out. So call request from Paul, seal, test at test. This is my test message. Submit that. And hopefully that will work and it will send through the email. Success. Here we go. Call request inquiry from Paul Seal. So that's me using it as well. So that's it. Um, that's what I wanted to show you how to do. 
and I think I've done it. So if you've got any questions, uh, please get in touch in the comments on my post or on my video, um, and I'll try and help you out as best I, as I can. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe to my channel for more Umbraco videos, MVC, C Sharp. Um, also, look out for my product reviews. Um, I've done some about my headphones that I've got. I've done one about my mouse. I've got a new microphone. I might do one about my new microphone. I don't know if anyone's interested or not. Put that back on. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.